Well, call to order the meeting of the Dubuque County Board of Supervisors, Monday, November 25th, 2019, 5.30 p.m. At this time, I'd ask everyone to rise and join us in the reciting of the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, I'm going to go out of order just a little bit here, a little chair's discretion. Um, we have uh, some folks with us from the uh, um, firefighters. They were... A little uh, went to the wrong place, but they're here. And uh, I have uh, Rick, if you guys want to go to the podium. And um, if you want, tell us uh, a little bit about uh, your project. First of all, introduce yourselves. Uh, my uh, name is Rick Wolf. I'm fire chief out in Worthington, Iowa. Uh, I've been an active firefighter for 22 years out there. Um, I'm chief right now. Uh, this is Kayla Shady. She's a firefighter and EMS personnel with the department. Um, our project is going to replace our current defibrillator, uh, which is approximately 15 years old. Um, it is no longer a serviceable item. Um, the company will not fix it if it goes down. So that's the project we've worked on and come up with a new uh, Zoll defibrillator. That's where our money is going to, and I want to thank the supervisors for granting us this money. Thank you. We'd like to thank you and, and your, your entire department and all the departments for everything you do to keep the citizens of Dubuque County safe. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, Next up on the agenda is uh, public comments. At this time, anyone may address the board on matters of which are on the agenda. Please go to the podium, state your name and home address if you have something to say in public comments. Now, if you have something on the agenda that has, uh, is either uh, an action item or uh, um, I don't think there's any public hearings, but uh, uh, you'll be able to talk about that at that time. But if anybody is here from the public and wants to talk on a specific issue that's on the agenda, now would be the time to do that. Okay, okay. seeing none, we'll move on. Uh, look for uh, the next item is, uh, uh, we don't have any proclamations tonight, but uh, item number two on the agenda is approval of minutes of the meeting of November 12th and November 18th, 2019. Motion to approve. And I will second that. Okay, motion made and seconded to approve the minutes. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Carry. Um, consent items. We do have uh, one under item three, consent items, 3A, fireworks permit, Sundown Mountain, and resort. I'll make a motion to approve the consent items. Second. Okay. Motion made and seconded to approve the uh, consent items. Um, and uh, any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Carried. All right. <clears throat> um, under procurement procedures, I don't believe we have anything tonight. So item five, public hearings. Uh, 5A is proof of publication. I don't believe we have any. So 5B, notice of public hearing. It's an amendment to zoning ordinance ZC number 11-29-19, Kenneth and Darla Hush, 
A1 agricultural to A2 agricultural residential. And that is uh, scheduled for Monday, December 9th at 9 a.m. Tammy, do you have anything? No, that's on just this? for your next meeting. Motion to approve the notice of publication. And I will second that. Okay. Uh, there's a motion to approve the notice, notice of, of public, public hearing. hearing. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Carried. Next item on the agenda, item six, approval of plats. So the first item is under 6A, resolution, final plat. Amon Place, plat two, uh, section township. Okay. So this property is owned by Jonathan and Heidi Hutchcroft, and it's located 6.24 miles east of the city of Dubuque along St. Catharines Road. And the property is owned R1 Road residential with a total of 24.4 acres surveyed. The purpose of this plan is to reconfigure two lots into two lots. This survey creates two lots. Lot one has a total of 23.23 .23 acres surveyed with a home, and it will remain in current ownership in year one. Lot two has a total of 1.17 acres surveyed with a home, and it will be sold. Lot one and lot two will both use a residential access off of St. Catharines Road, and there were no additions or corrections required for this plat. The mortgage holder's acknowledgement is signed and attached, and some of the signatures are over 60 days old, and they include the surveyor of July 30th of 2019, Dubuque County Zoning of September 17th of 2019, the county treasurer of June 7th of 2019, and county assessor June 7th of 2019. This plat has been received by myself as plats officer and has all the required signatures. I respectfully recommend approval. So what they're doing here is they're taking... taking this out of that and there's a home on there and this property is all zoned residential so they're just reconfiguring the lots for sale purposes so just one home will be that smaller parcel and then the new parcel will be the existing home with all the existing land exactly okay Any questions? I will make a motion to approve the plat as presented. Second. Motion made and seconded to approve the plat. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Carried three to zero. Um, item 6B is a resolution, final plat, Camp Little Cloud, section and township. Tammy? All right. So, this property is owned by Girl Scouts of Eastern Iowa and Western Illinois, Inc., and is located 1.50 miles west of the city of Graff along Girl Scout Road, with a total of 118.49 acres surveyed. The property is owned A1 Agricultural. The purpose of this plant is to divide off a portion of the property to sell to the adjacent farmer. The survey creates two lots. Lot 1 is a total of 103.391 <coughs> acres surveyed with cabins, offices, and a pool, and it will remain in current ownership and use. Lot 2 is a total of 15.099 acres surveyed, and it will be sold to the adjacent farmer and remain in agricultural use. Lot 1 will use an existing entrance to the Girl Scout camp off of Girl Scout Road, and Lot 2 will have access across the current farm entrance off of Millville Road and Kinkle Lane. There were no additions or corrections required for this plat. There are no liens or mortgages on this property. Some of the signatures are over 60 days old, and they included the surveyors of se September 20th of 2019. This plat's been reviewed by myself as plats officer and has all the required signatures. I respectfully recommend approval. So what's happening is this little portion here, let's show you. So this piece here is getting added over south. So it's really this piece farmer, okay? And so it meets the ag guideline because of his acreage is more than one acre to stay in farm. And he has no intentions of doing anything with it other than what it's already being currently used for is, is woods. And he's currently zoned A1? He's currently zoned A1 as well. It's not here. And this piece here is just going to be adjacent to his farm. And it'll also be A1? It will also stay and remain in A1. I'll turn it sideways so you can see. So this is the farmer that's purchasing it. 
and they had reached out to us, the Girl Scout camp, and just financially are making some small changes that they needed to make. And so there was another piece of property they were actually looking at, and uh, that did not fall through. So for now, they were just making this sale. Okay. Motion to approve. And I will second that. There's a motion made and seconded to approve the final plat for Camp Little Cloud. Any further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Carried three to zero. Under approval of plats, item six, 6C, six resolution, final plat, Haven Ridge, first edition, section 27, Center Township. Okay, so as you know, this was a table that was approved in the back. Um, and as you remember, we had a discussion um, with concerned neighbors. So um, I'll just read it through again. The property is owned by JASTA LLC and is located 0 0.60 miles north of the city of Centralia at the corner of Humkey Road and Sundown Road. The property is owned R2 single family residential with a total of 8.175 acres surveyed. The purpose of this plat is to create a residential subdivision. The survey creates five lots, lot one through five are all a minimum of one acre in size and will be sold for residential homes. Each lot shall have its own individual septic system and water shall be supplied by one shared well. There was a rezoning of this property on zoning case number 1232 of 17 from R1 Road Residential to R2 single family residential. Lot one through five have an approved residential entrance permit number 19-31 off of Humkey Road. The survey creates a private road with a 66 foot wide right of way easement and with a 20 foot road top and a 50 foot radius cul-de-sac. There will be a 22 foot water and utility easement for lots two, three, and four and a 15 foot water utility easements for lot five and lot one. There were no additions or corrections required for the plat. The mortgage holder's acknowledgement is signed and attached and all signatures are current. This plat's been reviewed by myself as plats officer and as all the required signatures, I respectfully recommend approval. And again, I know that you're all aware that we had a meeting and, and uh, uh, the, the folks are here again. Make a motion to approve. I will second that. Okay, um, in discussion, I, I, I wanted to say I did a, uh, another site visit, this time with uh, Mr. Stackus and uh, uh, first of all, and Eric, Eric Schmeckel, and I'm cautiously optimistic that there might be some uh, possible solution on the horizon, but um, I, in listening to Eric, uh, I think that um, these folks that are um, asking for the uh, plat approval, um, that, that they're um, plan is not going to make it worse it's probably it's going to make it better uh, it's going to have detention ponds to hold back water um, there's water coming in that pond from all directions so um, it's uh, I think uh, um, th this subdivision has really nothing to do with the issue of the water in the backyard uh, of in the subdivision so okay any further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Carried three to zero. Thank you. All right, moving on. Uh, action items. Um, we have uh, under action items, the board may approve, deny, or table any action item. Um, so we have a resolution appointment of Oh, there is there is no 7A, no uh, no appointments of okay, of personnel. Uh, 7B resolution, approving the contract with Houston Engineering for Hydrology Consulting Services, and just for the record for the public, um, the total amount of that contract is one hundred eight thousand nine hundred seventy dollars, of which thirty thousand of that will be paid from the uh, Iowa Department of Homeland Security. Is it, is it Rob? So we have Rob Davis from uh, Houston Engineering that's here as well, if you have any last questions. Any questions for Rob? Um, I guess a comment, Rob. If you, while you're here in town, take a look at um, our Telegraph Herald, I think it's today's paper. There's an opinion piece that is about um, somehow about how it's a national article, the paper chose to run about how 
in Britain, people are freezing to death. And that comes all the way down to how we shouldn't do newfangled stuff in Iowa dealing with climate change. It's really disjointed in a bunch of kind of gibberish, and it's a national, it's a national um, column. But I, I would just want you to be aware of that, because we probably will maybe now see folks who think that if we do hydrology, we're going to have seniors freezing in their homes. So I just, it's just color. But um, while you're here and you made the trip, um, we'll get you that article so you can see. I, you know, I, we are going to get one chance to really do this right as we um, go out and, and meet with our neighbors to help them understand and help them work to do the stewardship projects they want to do. So I'm looking forward to the work relationship. Yeah, he's done. I'll make a motion to approve. All right. <laughs> motion made and seconded to uh, approve the resolution. Any further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Carried three to zero. Thanks, Rob. Okay. Uh, next up, we have a resolution uh, regarding the updated guidelines for the Dubuque County General Assistance. I would recommend a motion to table. So moved. And I will second that. Motion made and second at the table. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Carried. Three to zero. 7D, duplicate warrant, Marshall and Swift. And does anybody have any? It's just a check that input. wasn't cast. Do we? In the, do we have to, by code, have these on our agenda? It seems like kind of odd that, really, that we're like, hey. Okay. Okay. Sure I guess we're looking for I'll make a motion approval. to uh, approve the uh, lost uh, check. Second. Okay. Duplicate warrant. Motion made and seconded to approve the duplicate warrant. All Another in favor one. signify by saying aye. 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 Carry 3-0. All right. Item 8 on the agenda is uh, correspondence. Communications, excuse me, correspondence that the board will receive and file without taking action. We have a letter from County Recorder John Murphy uh, referencing that uh, Tom Townsend will be his representative on the Dubuque County Compensation Board. Um, I would recommend a motion to receive and file. So moved. And I will second that. Motion made and seconded to receive and file. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Carried. And next is uh, communication, and this is the uh, manure management plan uh, update, and this is from uh, uh, Dave Shields, um, Shields South Site, number 68348, and MMP annual update, Shields Home Place, number 68349. And there was one change in the uh, second one. It actually has reduced uh, the n number of uh, animal units. And uh, it's now considered a SAFO, uh, small animal uh, operation, feeding operation, rather than a, um, under the master matrix. So it's actually reduced in size. So uh, again, would recommend, uh, I guess we receive and file these. So. I'll make a motion to receive and file. Thank you. Second. Okay, motion made and seconded to receive and file. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Okay, um, under uh, item 9A, uh, we have a uh, application for Prairie Creek Township Trustee, an unexpired term ending on December 31, 2022. We have the application of Todd Cook. And that is in your uh, packet. I'll make a motion to uh, approve the appointment of Todd Cook to Prairie Creek trustee. Second. Okay. Motion made and seconded to approve the application of Todd Cook. And do we know if this is a re-upping or is it? Uh... No, uh, Prairie Creek had. Oh, okay. Sorry. 
Okay. All right. Um, any further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Carried three to zero. Uh, next up, appointments, item nine. Um, 9B, informational purposes. Um, we have vacancies on commissions, committees. I do want to point out we do have uh, uh, two vacancies on the uh, Sunnycrest Manor Advisory Board of Directors. So I would like to uh, ask my counterparts to kind of beat the bushes and see if we have anybody. I know we have lots of other committees and commissions that we need uh, folks on, and I'll take a upon uh, myself as well to reach out to folks. So um, anyway, and I don't know if anybody else has any. Conservation Board, is that a new vacancy? One vacancy for a five-year term? Yes. So who left the Conservation Board? Uh, well, it, this term was up, but he is actually leaving. Uh, Jeff Q is given 10 years of great service to the Conservation Board and uh, he is uh, not um, going to reapply. So I think at the next meeting, uh, you know, we'll have another item uh, on here, hopefully with some applications. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he made that announcement at the last conservation okay. meeting. And, uh, and I think I definitely received appreciate email. His, his service. Yes. Yeah, and then he forwarded email uh, today, I believe. Yeah, so, but his email didn't catch the agenda, so. To all of us, did he email? I, I believe so. Yeah, there's an email that was this morning. At 1 30. 1 30 this afternoon. He sent yeah. It. So we're just in session. Yeah, I saw it come in. I just popped it open just to, since uh, you had mentioned his name. I think the only reason I saw it is it popped up on my screen here. So I'm wondering if there should be, we're going to talk about, I think, our boards, hopefully, and our goal setting, but it would be good if we could, um, you know, things, when somebody leaves, I, I wonder if. I guess I personally would prefer to have more notice than just it posting. I mean, our list is getting so long, unfortunately, that it's hard to know if someone's leaving or who's leaving or if a trustee dies. I mean, there's just a lot of things that we that we don't know that um, I don't know how we can share that. I have personal interest in that information. And I guess this is, you know, meeting to meeting, I, the only way to know is if uh, you can remember that it wasn't a, on the last minute's a, last time's agenda. So I don't, I guess that's me wishing for more information, Don. If you can help me do that, it's a me thing, so I would appreciate your help. Thank you. Well, it's probably just how we, how we circulate the agenda, uh, excuse me, the, the meeting notes from various committees. Um, I think we're probably not consistent on those. Some are still paper, some are email, some are go find them yourself. So hopefully maybe with our, our new website and the consolidation of all the meeting notes and agendas and that in one location would help. Yeah, and that's in the works, right? Yeah. We're, we're gonna... <laughs> when will that work session be? We're going to have a work session. December 9th, our next meeting. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So in very short order. And that's where we would have all of the, hopefully all the agendas and then all the meeting notes there as well, and maybe supporting documents as well. No, we're playing with it. Oh, really? Yeah. Good. All right. Yeah. Jeez, just like that. I, was I noticed that. some of the, um, in the Dropbox, some of the things were in a different <coughs> format. Unless unless that came from whoever sent it in. Um, but uh, I just noticed that some of them had a different look to them. Maybe it was the, um, maybe it was just me. Probably. It looked different on my screen, so that's what I'm referring to. Oh, all right. Don't even try to learn it. <laughs> oh, okay. A new system on the horizon. All right. Um, so we'll move to item 10, personnel requisitions. I don't believe there are any, which is rare. Um, 11, uh, tabled and pending items. We have A, strategic planning. We have a uh, date set for our next uh, strategic planning session, which is Wednesday, December at two o'clock. Okay. And eleven B, uh, GL assessment assessment project, and that is kind of on hold. Uh, we're waiting for an update. I don't know if he has anything scheduled. So, 
Well, I think the update there would be basically that the subacute center closed or is closing, which is going to have um, a significant impact on what we do in terms of what that committee is doing to look at jail assessment needs for folks who are pre-diversion or some kind of diversion. I mean, that that's a, something we were hoping to be able to use. It certainly is a setback for the Mental Health Access Center, but that was Hillcrest's decision. And I reached out to our elected officials, you know, our state reps and state senators to let them know as well. I do. I read that article, um, and it mentioned a name I wasn't familiar with as Hillcrest's interim CEO. Francie did, Tesher. Did is the new Gary Gansmer step he back? Or? He called me and told me that it was basically just too stressful. Oh, okay. So well, she's the new interim. Been, he had been retired, and okay. Yep. He said it's just, it just was better to go forward with a new person. So. Okay. All right. All right. Do we want to keep these tables and pending items on here? It just seems like we have, while well, we have had some discussion, it's pretty limited and there's no action. And I, I think if somebody would either watch at home on the internet or be here, and that's all they heard, they'd probably be like, no, oh, it was on the agenda and nothing really happened. And so that's my point is that I think things that were on the agenda, I think as a board, we owe it to the citizens to to have discussion, to have dialogue, possibly even action. And it seems like these just are holding out there. And so in my term, we haven't done that a lot, and, and these these just been sitting there. And so I was just curious to my colleagues' uh, opinions on having table and pending items just sit there. I think the strategic planning, um, I think we were able to give an update, and whoever, you know, folks that are here or watching, uh, uh, would be able to find out that we do have a session coming up. So I'm, I think I'm okay with that. But I, I think the jail assessment could probably uh, come off until we get a you know um, action by the sheriff uh, to put it back on. Um, and uh, you know I know that's a long range plan, and I don't think we need to have this on there three or four times before he comes back. So. I would tend to agree with you on that. I think we were able to give an update on the strategic planning. There is some action on that. Although it was limited. <laughs> a date. I think we'll yeah. publish it either way, but uh, yeah. okay. Um, I appreciate that feedback. We do need to have an opportunity, and it doesn't have to be under tabled and pending items, to have conversation about the boards that we serve on and updates about things that do fit under the jail needs assessment, which is the closing of the subacute center because it impacts the mental health access center because it's all pieces that kind of you know move together. So I don't you know we've tried different things um, in terms of communicating with each other, but we need to be you know we can defer to goal setting to see if they can help facilitate a way for that to happen. But it's you know we need to put that on the agenda somehow so we. I'm not involved in creating the agenda. It, it comes to me, you know, very late. Um, I know that everyone else thinks it comes as quickly as it can, and I do not in any way, Mary, it's not an impact. It's not a reflection. It's the way it is. But I don't know what's coming, you know, and so it's hard to, to know. Do we need to add something? Is it there? Um, you know, it's about just better communication between the board as a unit and our staff probably even. I think the question on this was, should we have things on there that we really don't have anything to talk about? So in this case, specifically, I suggested that the um, jail assessment project, which we know is being worked on, but we don't have any immediate updates, that that could come off until Sheriff Kennedy puts it back on. Or, or another supervisor puts it back on and right. does, does, yep. and wants to have discussion. Absolutely. So I'm I'm comfortable with that. Yep. All right. All right. Anything else? Uh, moved to item twelve. Public comments at this time. Anyone may address the board on matters of which are of concern to that person, which are not agenda items. Please go to the podium, state your name and home address. 
Please be aware that the board is limited in their ability to respond to such inquiries and Iowa code prohibits the board from deliberating or acting on items not appearing on the agenda. Seeing none, I would entertain a motion to adjourn, adjourn I believe. I will make a motion to adjourn. Second. Okay. Motion has been made and seconded to adjourn. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Carried. Thank you.